Welcome to a wet and windy Manchester. Um, I'm around the um, area, of, uh, around the town hall area, and um, there's St Peter's Square. So today I'm just um, recording a vlog today to you, a street photographer. So uh, hopefully I'll take you there. I'd spend uh, a little bit of time just um, explaining my settings for my street photographer. So what I'll do is I'll flip over to the back of the camera now and I'll show you. Yeah, so um, as you can see on the back of my camera here, um, I'm currently using uh, an Olympus EM1 EM Mark II. Um, what I normally do on my street photography videos um, and my street photography, when I'm, my settings when I'm doing my street photography is I basically, um, I usually have it on aperture priority mode so so I, then what I do is I just normally set the the aperture to what I want it to do um, a lot of my shots I tend to um, prefer sorry I'll just flip the screen back on yeah so for a lot of my shots I prefer um, an out of focus background and um, it's something that I prefer my type of photography I know people like everything in focus but for me um, I really do like a photograph that's out of focus and background it's just my style of doing it so what I tend to do is I tend to um, shoot it in aperture priority mode I, I tend to let the let the camera adjust the shutter speed um, and I then set the aperture depending on what type of shot I want to do. Um, I'm quite fortunate that this lens goes down to f1.8 so it does really give me um, a massively out of focus background. Um, so what I do as well is I have my ISO set to auto but there is a set, uh, setting in the option uh, in settings that you can set the ISO to go to a certain level. So uh, what I do is I obviously have this um, set up for the ISO to just it sets itself so I have it on auto ISO so it sets a limit but what you can do on the um, the Olympus is that you can actually set it to um, an, an upper and lower limit depending on um, the, the ISO that you want so basically the way to do it is if you press the menu button go to the sorry press the menu button and you go to the the cog menu and then go to E1 and then there'll be an option for ISO auto set and then there'll be an upper, upper limit or default so if you use, so what I normally do is I normally set it to around about 800 so I set it to 800 and then obviously the lowest default you can have on this is 200 so I'll just set that back and then click OK And then what that'll do is um, it won't set the ISO for any higher than 800 and it won't go any lower than 200. So what I do is I tend to shoot in aperture priority mode and I let the camera set the uh, shutter speed 
and then I, I use the um, choose the camera let me uh, choose the um, aperture depending on what type of shot I want um, and I tend to go I don't tend to go above f8 or f11 at the most um, that's basically the the point at which I think this, this lens works at the sharpest so they're basically my settings um, very simple very straightforward and I hope that helps you so let's go and get some photographs So that's the uh, vlogs done for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Uh, do all the usual things below, subscribe and all that thing, all them things if you want to do. Um, hopefully, I'll be back next week with a, a, an end of year vlog, a bit of a roundup for my year in photography. So if I don't see you again next week, enjoy the uh, festive period, whatever festivities you decide to. Um, to celebrate, and hopefully I'll see you next week for a roundup and. We'll look forward to next year, so I'll uh, see you next week.